Hi, and welcome back to my videos on CSS. In this series of videos, we've been looking at how to apply formatting to data tables inside of uh, an HTML page by using class and tag styles. Now, up to this point, we've been primarily focused on formatting row-based tables. So when we did the zebra striping, we were applying um, our formatting to the TRs or to the rows. But what do you want to do? What do you do if you want to format your columns in some way? Now, what a lot of people end up doing, if they wanted to, for instance, put a light gray background on region and telephone, what they would do is they would apply a class style to each individual TD. And that will certainly work. For instance, I can come in here to this TD and select the class style, background gray, save it and click, and you're going to see that northern there gets that background color. The problem is I've got to repeat that in every single TD for that particular column. So copy and pasting makes it a little bit quicker. But now you'll see that column has been filled in with that style. But that's not the only way to apply formatting to columns in a table. And I'm going to go ahead and just undo those changes there. And save, and you're going to see I'm back to normal here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use the HTML element call group or column group to define my columns and apply class styles to them. So I'm going to go ahead and scroll all the way up to the top. And I'm going to click after my opening table tag. And I'm going to go ahead and open up an element called call group. And I need to define my four columns inside of call group. So I'm going to go ahead and open up call first. And I'm going to apply the class style to that background gray. And then I'm going to go ahead and close that off. Now the second column, I don't want to have anything. So I'm going to go ahead and leave that empty. The third column, I do want to apply that class style to. And again, it's the background gray style. And then again, my fourth column um, is going to not have any style applied to it, so I want to close that. Now I've got to go ahead and close my column group and save. So I've said, here's my table. Inside of my table, here's sort of the legend or the column grouping. And it lists each column and any styles that you want to apply to it. You can do more with the call group um, element, but for right now, we're primarily interested in it, that it gives us the ability to format columns. So I'll go ahead and save again. And now when I click over here in my live view, you're going to see that the first column and the third column has a uh, background color applied to it. And again, first and third there. And this is just picking up the background color gray from the style that we created right there. If I was to make that a little bit lighter, which I actually do want to do, I'm going to go with EF, EF, EF. That's about as light a gray as you can get to. There you'll see my um, colors have changed. So that's the way to format columns inside of a table without applying the class styles to every single cell that makes up that column. So formatting columns is just as easy as formatting rows inside of CSS.